so friends when we are in our college and we start thinking about a bright future ahead most of the times we all think about at least once that yes what will happen if we prepare for ias many of us when we think about it trust me it is a knock of destiny at the door that yes you can become an ias you can become an ias despite the fact that this is one of the most competitive exam this is one of the most coveted exam yes you can become ias but the only thing required now is to plan to strategize so that the next 3 years if you are now entering a college or even 4 years if you have a 4 years degree course more likely now all the degree courses are going to be 4 years so if you start in your first year right or at max in your second year you give yourself ample time you give yourself that space where you can prepare for such a competitive exam and while you prepare it must not feel like as if you have committed a sin that now you cannot enjoy your life you cannot talk to your family you cannot spend quality time with your family with your friends you cannot go on social media and you know enjoy a little time every day you cannot see or binge watch some of your favorite series while you prepare for ias remember one thing the more you enjoy the journey the better the reward the better the result will be so instead of waiting for the completion of your graduation rather than waiting for the completion of your graduation you should take a timely a wise and a timely decision that i will give at least 3 and 3 and a half years to this preparation so that i can prepare a proper strong foundation on which the flag of success must be hoisted right a very strong foundation now such a strong foundation cannot be laid in a couple of months or perhaps in 6 months or even in a year when we try to do such an impossible thing such an impossible thing that i will prepare this for this exam i will complete the entire syllabus for gs pre and main csat essay paper languages and my optional subject within a year obviously yes i am inviting a lot of stress lot of anxiety right why because i have to now study at least 10 to 12 hours a day that is bare minimum i am required right i need to do this 10 to 12 hours a day if i have to finish the entire syllabus in one year now if i will not sleep properly 7 to 8 hours of healthy sleep is something which is must for all right it is scientifically proven fact that we need to relax our body and mind and what better relaxation it will be than to have a good sound sleep right so if i have to study for 12 hours a day and 8 hours i have to sleep i am left with only 4 hours in a day now what max i can do in these 4 hours i need some time to bathe some time to clean myself clean my teeth i need to eat 3 times a day i have to have a glass of water a cup of tea or a milk or coffee right 2 hours will go like this only i am left with only 2 hours now what will i do in these 2 hours so it will start feeling like i have committed a sin as if i did some crime that i started preparing for ias and the entire sheen of life is gone now instead of doing it if you are in your first year of graduation and you have started thinking about that yes i want to explore this option and trust me friends when you start at the right time earlier earlier means in your first year at that is what i mean by right time when you start it at a right time the chances of your success they are brilliantly high they are very very high that yes you will definitely get through this exam right so if you are in your first year now take take it as a very simple example right a mathematical example we can say if somebody is studying for 12 hours in a day for one year right and on the other hand there is someone who is studying for let's say 5 hours for 3 years right so that means you are giving 15 hours of one year of preparation every day whereas that person who starts in third year or after third year and they are aiming for only one year and they are giving 12 hours they are only studying for 12 hours whereas you are studying for 15 hours by virtue of studying for 5 hours for 3 years but then imagine a situation 
you started in the first year and you started giving let's say at the very start for a couple of months you gave only three hours to this preparation every day three hours for a couple of months then gradually you brought them to the higher four hours and then to five hours and your first year is gone right now if you study five hours a day in your first year of graduation we give another six hours to your college and i hope you all will agree that at an average on day to day basis we will never give more than 6 hours to our college that means we have spent 11 hours of the day 8 hours we keep for our healthy sleep which means we have spent how many hours now 19 hours of our day and we are still left with 5 hours to enjoy quality life we can still do this right now when you come to your second year now if you have started in first year and you have started giving 3, 4 and 5 hours now starting with 5 hours gradually move on to 6 hours and then to 7 hours in your second year now where you will cut short your time obviously 1 hour you can reduce through your sleeping pattern right where you can take some power naps in between the day and now that you are in the second year of your college you will yourself realize that giving 5 hours to college is more than sufficient on day to day basis while we are in college if we have already socialized with our friends in college I have spent a lot of time I have seen a movie in my college time there was a mass bunk or there was like uh, free period and I was enjoying with friends sitting in the canteen enjoying a cup of tea or something then I can like use these 5 hours for my study right so you have to plan it the only difference between a successful and a person who is not successful is the time management right we all have only 24 hours in a day those who become successful they use these 24 hours to become successful those who do not get the success in life they are the ones who have wasted these 24 hours and why they end up wasting these 24 hours because they did not plan so most important thing is time management and planning and that is what I am sharing with you through this video today and I hope the sincere students will appreciate they will acknowledge the fact that if from today itself they start planning the things there will be no looking back now that most of you who are in your class 12 you are giving your exam final exam and within few months you will be now going for your undergrad courses this is the time when you should start thinking on these lines that my next three or four years will define where i will be in my life after 10 15 and 20 years i will be serving as an is officer and i will be serving as a secretary in a department or i will be an ips officer i will be ssp then i will be dig and ig right or if i am into the revenue services and income tax i will be an assistant commissioner to start with then after a while i will be deputy commissioner a joint commissioner and then a commissioner so you have to channelize your energies in one such way that next three to four years define that path for you you lay down that path on by, by walking on which you end up reaching that high account that high post in your life that it bring forth that authority that power to you that you can change the life of millions of people of course your life will change of course you will have a aura around you but yes your position will give you ample opportunities through which you can help people multitude of people to improve their life as well right now that you have done this so at an average where you were expected to give 5 hours every day for 3 years right making it 15 hours now you see you are doing more than that here you start with 7 hours increase it to 7 and a half hours then to 8 hours now at an average friends trust me you have given almost 6 and a half hours right every year you have given 6 and a half hours at an average but you are doing it for 3 years that means you have given 19 and a half hours for one year now where students were giving only 12 hours who were trying to do it in one year you have given 19 and a half hours you are seven and a half hours ahead of the competitors who are doing it in one year whereas you have been doing it for last three years without investing more than eight hours a day you end up investing 19 and a half hours a day that means seven and a half hours more than them every day now how can anybody compete against you and why not you will be successful now if you plan things like this who can stop you and if you keep on delaying the things oh no 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 this is too early I'm just in my first year let me enjoy my college and you end up being in second year then you at max can give 16 hours or 16 and a half hours right at an average 16 hours or 15 and a half hours 
and if you think that I will start in my final year, obviously you will be giving 12, 12 and a half hours. So you will be standing much, you know, away from your dream instead of coming very closer by virtue of your planning, by virtue of your commitment, by virtue of your hard work, by virtue of your dedication. Now, if this message is clear to all of you, here we give you a beautiful offer. If you are sincere students who are going to enter into your first year of their graduation and you want a personalized kind of plan that how you should plan your strategy, how you should pursue further, what subjects you should take if and only if there is some kind of uncertainty in your mind. For example, I took non-medical in my 11th and 12th. I was aiming to get into IIT but unfortunately somehow I couldn't get into it. Now I am thinking of shall I drop a year or not? Or should I continue doing engineering from any college or if I am not getting admission in any of the good colleges, so shall I continue with BSc or should I shift to some humanity subjects? For all these kind of doubts if you have in your mind or even if your parents have such doubts, we are open for one on one interaction. If you can come and visit us at our office in Chandigarh, amazing. If not possible, yes, we can have a Zoom meeting and this counseling shall be absolutely free no charges no hidden charges no charges absolutely free one-on-one -on -one interaction with students as well as their parents if the parents have that time and they have that inclination that yes we want to plan the future of our kids at the very right time so from raj ies this is an offer this is an opportunity where sincere students and the caring parents can get in touch with us we will help students make proper plan, proper strategy for their undergrad courses along with which they can prepare for IAS and state civil services like PCS and they can also prepare for CDS, CAPF and many other competitive exams, the government exams through which they will definitely get a gusseted post and start their career with a flying colors. For details and to get in touch with us, there is a link, just click on the link, fill the form and get in touch with us for the counseling of your ward, for the counseling of your children and for a very bright future ahead for all of them. God bless you. Take care. Bye-bye.